Now, while today we've covered the closure of the Liddell coal-fired power station, it's somewhat ironic that Australia's biggest wind farm and battery project got underway today in Victoria. The $3 billion Golden Plains wind farm at Rokewood will eventually be 1,300 megawatts. That compares with the nameplate capacity of Liddell at 2,051 megawatts. Golden Plains owner is the French-controlled Tag Energy. Its managing partner for Australia, Andrew Riggs, joins us now. Andrew, many thanks for your time. Just describe for people who have never heard of this project previously, just the scale of it, the size of it, and how long it's going to take you to get your first electrons into the system. Thank you, Ross. Thank you for having us. It's a wonderful project. We've got nearly 215 turbines in total. But today we're launching the construction of the first stage. That's the first 122 turbines. It'll produce about 2,400 uh, megawatt, a gigawatt hour, sorry, per year, which is about 4% of Victoria's electricity. When we finish that 1,300 megawatts that you mentioned earlier, it'll be nearly 9% of Victoria's electricity is clean and green and environmentally responsible. And so explain when the battery comes into this. When does that part of the project take place? And when would you expect you can start to straw some of these electrons you'll be generating? Thank you. Yes, the second stage of the project includes uh, the, the balance of the turbines, that's 93, together with a 300 megawatt battery. That battery will be among the largest in Australia, uh, possibly for a short time the largest, and we'll be starting that project in the latest part of this year, in December ideally. Uh, as it comes online, it'll be about October 2025. Then we'll start having a balance of production in, in accordance with the wind, and then storing the uh, energy to be able to provide the peak power when it's needed. OK, just we're talking about Liddell Power Station obviously closing down over the next week. It's really yes. been going for some 50 years. So when you look at this project you're creating now, how far into the future can you look? What is its lifespan, do you imagine? Yeah, absolutely. We have guarantees from the con uh, original equipment manufacturers for the turbines. They run for 30 years. They maintain it for 30 years and availability exceeding 97%. So uh, the technology in wind is now quite mature, very investable. Uh, as a uh, renewable transition investor, we, we need that, of course, to guarantee our business case over the life of the asset. I guess that compares with Liddell at 50. Uh, Liddell has had a lot of maintenance over its years uh, in terms of uh, renewing and upgrading to get to 50. We anticipate that a wind farm like Golden Plains, as it reaches the end of that 30-year technical life, will also have renewals and possibly then be uh, upgraded with the latest technology at that time because the site doesn't change. The wind will be there forever, and that makes uh, a very responsible form of generation. It's a no-regrets no generation. One other aspect of your business model, which is unusual, is you're going to feed directly into the wholesale market as distinct from taking long-term contracts with energy providers. Just explain why you've taken that decision. Yeah, thank you. It's very much a project-centric decision, Ross. We, um, we see that you can uh, overcommit yourself in a, in a hot market and perhaps end up in a, in a bit of problem business-wise if, for example, you have cost blowouts or delays in executing your, your project. What we do is we implement the project first, then when we have our costs understood and our time very well understood, then we can start bringing in contracting to the, to the project. Uh, it requires a little deep, deeper pockets at the, at the start. Uh, you can't get as much debt as if you had all of the offtake sold, but it certainly gives us better control and better risk management of knowing that we can deliver for our customers when we do contract. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a merchant forever strategy. It's very much a merchant when we know we have uh, cost and time certainty. Sorry, contracted. Uh and, of course, because it's wind and because of the variability of winds when they come through, it really does determine on what the market looks like when you're generating to be able to get your payback, to get the revenues through the door. Yeah, quite right. Uh, so we do some detailed modelling. Uh, the market is quite mature. Only in a, a mature market can we have the confidence to invest on an equity basis, on this merchant basis. So we actually look forward uh, over the course of 30 years on power price forecasts. And if you think about the contracting in the early days of the project, so in the first five to 10 years, that's when the forecasts are most accurate and underpins the confidence in the business case. Tag Energy's uh, managing partner for Australia, Andrew Riggs, many thanks for your time today and congratulations on the project. Thanks, Ross. Always a pleasure.